What is up everybody, my name is Hudson. Welcome to Deck of Ashes. Before we begin, let me announce that this episode is sponsored by AY Games. So thank you for supporting my channel. Deck of Ashes is a hardcore story-driven RPG roguelike that just launched June 9th on Steam. This game is about four main characters that set out to find an artifact of unmatched power, the Ash Box. Having broken the box, a curse has been set upon the world. A feature unique to this game is the two deck system, your normal deck and the Deck of Ashes. One must learn how to balance both while playing over a hundred available cards to create unique decks and combat styles. And to celebrate this launch, they are also hosting a Design a Mini Boss contest. So if you have a great idea, go to their Discord server and submit it. Winners will earn a prestigious role in their Discord server, an exclusive hand painted statue, and the Mini Boss will be added into the game in a later update. So enough with all of that. We need to jump into this game and check it out. I've already completed the tutorial. So we're gonna jump right into the campaign. Four main characters to play here. I don't know if there's one I'm supposed to start with. So let's just start with the first one. Burned alive for the outcasts, accidentally releasing the ash curse in the world. Lucia rose like the legendary phoenix, becoming one with the flame, but eternally tormented by it. Lucia, as the pyromancer, seeks to regain her peace and will scorch anything and anyone who stands in her way. Let's do it. Since the dawn of time, people with a magical gift had a target on their backs. We instill fear, and fear breeds malice. I learned to conceal my talent the hard way. I trusted my fiancé and revealed my secret, and that same day, I was laying in the mud surrounded by a mob of bloodthirsty loons. Rusty pitchforks and blazing torches pointed at my face. That day, I killed for the first time. I managed to escape and join the outcasts, a gang of hardened pariahs like myself. Wherever our righteous anger took us, we settled the scores in blood. When we broke that damn box and released the Ash Curse, the simple folk blamed the mages. The witch hunt ensued, and a week hadn't passed before I ended up at the stake. I was burned to the cheerful cries of peasants. But those turned into screams of terror as I suddenly rose from the ashes. The curse gave me power. It made me one with the flames. The flames of retribution that swallowed my offenders. The curse gave me power, but it played a twisted joke on me. The pain I suffered at that stake, it stayed and defiles every moment since my rebirth. The Prophet, he found me on his own. He assures that Lady Death can rid me of pain. If this is true, I will make her do that. He asks me to kill Lady Death, and he says that it will break the curse. This world, it's full of scoundrels, and I'd enjoy watching their torment. But if regaining my peace means ridding them from the curse as well, screw it, let it be so. I start to regret we took a short path. The human realms, once the lands of prosperity, descended into madness and anarchy. But it is too late to turn around now. We set up a camp and plan our next steps. The curse and famine did not spare human minds. The possessed, cannibals, and bandits. We are in a great company. King Octavius proclaimed himself a god, and his subjects now are but fanatics and cutthroats. When we crossed the river, I saw his sentries. The Mad King knows that we've paid him a visit, and he does not like uninvited guests. We should expect his retinue of maniacs to strike within a couple of days. Let us use this time and prepare for the fight. All right, so here we are in our home camp. Search the area for supplies and recipes. At the start of the chapter, your character is quite weak. You may strengthen your character and prepare for the fight with the ruler by finding card recipes and crafting cards from them, increasing your character's stats, exploring the region to find resources, and spending them to buy upgrades in the camp. As you venture farther from the camp, you are going to find more resources and rare recipes, but the monsters you face there will also be deadlier. So there's an in-game time system. You only have a certain amount of time to gather resources and explore the map until the boss arrives. That's denoted here in the top. So I think what delineates this 
at the moment from other roguelike deck builders is that it's more of an open world system. You can go wherever you please, gather whatever you want, come back to the camp and, and do things with the resources and craft cards and do things like that. You just have a certain amount of time that you can do that in. Drafting resources, moving around the map, and teleportation take one in-game hour. Every 24 hours, the camp restocks all purchase goods. Cool. All right, four different NPCs. Got a Starbucks cup. Ash Master, Ash Rites and Renew Cards. Blacksmith, Craft Cards and Learn New Traits. Herbalist, Increase Your Stats and Cure Ailments. And the Merchant, Buy, Sell Recipes and Trade Resources. Start with 10 cards in our deck, as we can see here. We also have three recipes. And then there's our Ash deck. We haven't used any cards yet. There's no cards in our Ash deck. Deck of Ashes. We don't have very many resources right now, so let's just get out there and go. So here's the map. As you can see, there's different biomes and different enemies corresponding to the biomes, I believe. Like this is town, this is village, this is cemetery, cave, shore, forest. We have the option of a battle right off the bat. Undefined swamp tile, which could be a random event, monster battle, or unoccupied. And an unoccupied cemetery tile. Let's just jump into a battle. Let's get like really deep into it. Hopefully we get a key. We can go ahead and open up this common chest. Looks like there's a dungeon up here on the top. We could do that. Let's go. Let's try it out. They say that even a beast can be afraid of a spark. So we have five total mana right now. Our cards are listed here on the bottom. Turn order on the top. We're fighting a level one wolf. Its intent is to howl or increase strength of all beasts by two. What do we got here? Fireball, deal 10 damage. Piercing fire, deal three damage to an opponent, deal three extra damage for every burn applied on it. Liquid fire, apply burn. Fireball plus, adds a fragile copy of fireball to my hand. Fragile card is destroyed at the end of battle or when discarded. We also have a healing balm, which I probably won't need to use. Uh, let's apply burn for one. Two out of five, what does that mean? Deals two damage for five turns. Is that one burn or does that count for two burn? I don't know. Let's see if this does three damage or six damage. Six damage, it says right there. Cool, let's do it. And then let's do a 10 damage fireball for the remainder of our mana. That's the end of our turn, go. You may return up to three cards to the bottom of the battle deck. So we didn't use these cards instead of discarding them into my ash deck, my deck of ashes. Let's go ahead and save them. So it did its howl thing, we draw new cards. Here's the deal, we used cards, the cards that we used are now in our deck of ashes. We have to then go back to camp and talk to the Ash Master in order to get them back. Or I believe there, there might be a card, at least in the tutorial there was a card that I could play to hurt myself and refresh my cards. So you gotta actually balance what cards you use and when. Seven to 10 damage coming in from the wolf. Strain, five damage to myself for six to 10 to the enemy. Phoenix, deal five damage to an opponent. Phoenix, when this card is played, is returned to the battle deck. So it seems like this card never gets put into the deck of ashes. Go ahead and do 10 damage. And let's Phoenix Torch. All right, and then we'll just tank the damage here. Okay, okay, so between every round, if you put, if you don't put them down in the bottom of your battle deck, which is what we did in the beginning there, it just stays in your hand. So if you don't play a card, it doesn't go anywhere. 20 damage, can we finish this thing off? Probably not. It's gonna do another howl, that's not a big deal. Oh, here's the fragile one. All right, so next turn, let's just say I, I don't put any of them in the bottom. They all stay in my hand. There we go. Almost killed it with the burn there. And then let's go ahead and use a torch to finish it off. Boom. 22 gold, 10 ash, and one key. After every battle, we get a chance to rest. And while we're resting, we currently have six rest points. We can use one point to restore 10% of our max health. We can use one point to refresh cards. So that was something that I didn't mention. It's the Ash Master. It was a card to bring them back to hurt myself, and after every battle, you could spend rest points to get them back. You can also spend uh, your ash to craft cards here. These cards seem uh, like they have a little bit extra to them. Discard a card of your choice from your hand, if I use a Cindering Ring, and then this card specifically, non-playable. And when this card is discarded into my deck of ashes, it'll deal five damage to a random opponent, so you could, you could use both of these together. I don't have enough ash to make them both, though. Let's renew our burn card, renew our fireball plus. Let's renew all of them, actually. And one more point to spend, we can get 10% back on our health, be full. Done. We can also extract resources here. Probably should do that. We got one herb. Should we swing ourselves up to the top here and try to hit up this dungeon? Maybe. I'm not exactly sure how much time we have. 
It says up here, but it's a it's a meter, so I don't know exactly know how many hours this is until the boss arrives. Undefined tile go. An event. On your path, you suddenly meet the blacksmith. Aware of the long road you've traveled, he offers you special services. What an opportune time to test your traits. Open my traits. Oh, it's just the normal blacksmith guy. Buy new traits. Increase crit chance by 10%. You take 30% less damage from strain cards. That would be good. I think the pyromancer, from what I'm seeing, really excels in cards that damage herself to do other things. Want to steal less damage for every burn applied? At the start of your turn, you add Sacrificial Chalice Fragile card to your hand. I don't know what that is. Sounds pretty cool. Oh, I don't have money yet. Sorry, bud. Direct resources in the town. I could get a goblet. I did get one goblet. So I think each of these applies to a certain NPC back in the village. The goblet being the merchant, the herb being the herbalist, obviously. We have one key, so we could open up this one key chest. Let's do it. The chest is open. 10 gold and zero ash. It's, you know, that was... Oh, hey, look, there's a recipe in there, too. Deal five damage, apply three burns if they don't have any. Five damage to all opponents. Additional five for every pyro bomb. Do we have pyro bomb cards? We do not. Non-playable when discarded. We saw this one before. Let's do the pure fire. Let's go for more burns, because we have a card that deals more damage depending on how many burns they have. Consumable item. Stunning compound. Apply stun to an opponent. That sounds great. And resources. Potentially one to two herbs. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably worth it. I don't know if it's a waste of time or not. Is it too early to go into the dungeon? I feel like it's pretty early right now. Maybe it'd be too hasty. Maybe we should swing down this way and then come back and do the dungeon. When we're a little bit more prepared, we have more cards. Go into the swamp here. Another event. Sometimes the camp dwellers procure the necessary materials themselves. The blacksmith hasn't forgotten what it's like to clean out the pocket of filthy robbers. Although it will take him some time, the camp will miss him. Fact again, the blacksmith has left the camp for six hours. Interesting. Okay. Um, we just got a little bit closer here to the boss coming. Another event. On your path, you suddenly meet the merchant who clearly always keeps his stock replenished. What an opportune time to trade. The merchant. I do have one goblet. I can't do upgrades, though. It's just recipes that he's selling. It's just one of the things. Apply a pyrobomb. Dispel ne negative effects on you. Apply a pyrobomb. Deal three damage to an opponent. Throw three extra damage for every burn. We're gonna go heavy on the burn deck, which seems like maybe we're doing... Let's do it. All right, another battle. That's creepy. We're in the graveyard, fighting a ghoul. Nice mouth. Apply burn. Well, I want the card that applies the burn if I haven't applied a burn yet. Let's maybe save some of our... It's like we're saving mana. Wasting mana and choosing not to do it. Five to six damage coming in. I think I can handle it. What if we applied regeneration ourselves? It restores four health for five turns. Go. Yay. And then put the burn uh, liquid fire on the bottom of my deck. Oh, you know what? It was a recipe that we got. We didn't actually make the card yet. So I should have burned him. Should have totally done it. Devourment. Whenever a character dies, the ghoul increases its max health by five. A random undead gains death. All undead restores five health points. Necro Link. We need to take him out now. He's healing himself, which is, which is a problem here, because we're running out of cards. Most of our cards are in our Ash deck, our deck of Ashes now. So we'd have to use the Strain 10, Renew 5 random cards. Save that for next turn, I suppose. We're putting on good damage here. It's almost dead. It's gonna die next turn, actually. So I won't need to use that. Got him. I got him. Still only have six rest points, so we won't be able to get our entire deck back, but it's a good start. Saves me from hurting myself in that fight. Get back our regeneration, that was really nice. Craft cards. We should be doing that. The pure fire. Let's craft it, that's the one that we just got. Cool. So I didn't get my fireball back or my pyro explosion, this is okay. I didn't heal myself for one health point. Alright, false god, Octavius, or whatever that said. I kind of missed it, but he's, he's getting closer. I'm thinking we should maybe do a quick swoop, swoop here back to the dungeon. Ash Storm has created anomalies. Quickly draw on their power before they disappear. Interesting. I don't really... 
know exactly what that means. Oh, three turns left to get this. Spell a negative effect applied on you. Apply a pyro bomb on a random opponent. That's a card there. Then Ash Chalice here. Looks like a consumable. Non-playable. When any card is discarded, restore three health points. Scale of Avarice. Let's go to this undefined guy. Extract some resources. Because we're going to miss the pyro bomb. Did we miss it? We missed it. Because it took us one turn to extract resources. But I wasn't really too up in that card anyways. Two wrongs don't make a right. Who is this? Level one fanatic. To everyone. This guy's super intense. Apply three burns if you don't have any. Perfect. And a fireball plus. What are you gonna do? I should probably look at what they're gonna do first. Summons a possessed with 15 health points. Okay. You're creating monsters. Yeah, there we go. Possession, death summons an imp, incubus, or sat satyr, satyr, with five health points. Okay, so you kill this thing, it just keeps creating more and more. Applies a shield on it. Okay, what do we got going on here? We want to take these things out. Apply an extra burn in that thing. Burn times four, it says up there. Three damage plus three extra per burn. Maybe I'll focus on the, the fanatic instead of the possessed dudes in front. Fireball them. If we kill him, maybe the possessed guy will just go away. We're gonna run out of cards soon here. Yeah, there's our Ash Pact. Don't have enough to finish him. Oh, no, maybe I do, because of the burn damage. Did that do the damage? Did it have block or something? Maybe there was a block. Now we're not gonna kill it. Great, 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 great. But we will be able to kill it, I think, next turn. Let's see here. Restores a random monster's health points by an amount equal to its strength. This thing has strength two, then I guess strength zero. All right, minus two, minus two, minus two. That was the burn happening there, and this will kill it. Don't be upset. Are we done? I'm in more pain than you. Looks like the possessed is still there. It's gonna attack me for six to eight. Let's go ahead and pop, uh, pop our regeneration here. Will we be able to kill this thing? Ten damage and five damage equals fifteen damage, but there's something that it spawns. So I guess we'll maybe hold off for now. Not use our Ash Pack just yet to renew our, our cards and hurt ourselves. Third Ash Pack in here. Okay, they just keep giving them to me. There's 10 damage. There's 5 damage. Yeah, that's a, a level 1 Succubus that it just spawned for 5 health. I have to hurt myself just to kill this thing for 5 health. Here goes. Ash Packed. 10 damage. Got some cards back. There we go. Should be able to kill it real quick. Go. Done. <laughs> 28 gold, 20 ash, and one key. Our pure fire was good. Liquid fire, I think those things go together pretty well. And then three fireballs. Let's get two fireballs. Let's restore 10% health. Get another fireball, actually. Ball today. We have one key so we can open up this chest. All right, we're about, I would say, 30% for the boss. Use our key. 10 gold. Choose a recipe, more liquid fire. Chain reaction, deal three damage to all opponents. Deal three additional damage for each strain card played this turn. You don't have too many strain cards. Deal five damage to an opponent. Discard a random card, renew a random card. Could be pretty interesting. Discarding will just basically burn it up into our deck of ashes without us using it at all. I'm thinking we go heavy on the burn here. Red hook, consumable. All fish eggs cannot use shield. I don't even know what a fish egg is yet, so we'll find out, I'm sure. Maybe we should head back to camp and then go up directly to the, the, the dungeon. Because we could upgrade some stuff back at camp. Ambush. Who this? Three face? Oh man, look at that character design. Deals four damage for each mana point that the player spent during their turn. Oh, interesting. So if I don't do anything at all, it won't hurt me back. But then nothing will happen to us. Fish! Okay, what's this? Every five turns, one of the fallen will appear. A sea wave bringing fish egg. A sea wave restoring three health points to all sea monsters and deal three damage to all other characters, or a sea wave that brings a sea monster to a battlefield. Uh, yikes. Apply three burns to that guy. Do extra damage per burn. What if I could just get rid of him right now? The burn might just finish him off. Is the burn at the beginning of the turn or the end? I think it's the beginning of his turn. In case it's not, I could just super finish him. <laughs> this is just a warm up. Neato. Clamper, you're going down. Let's see if we can do that before these, before the, uh, the tide comes in. Triton, every third attack is deflected back at the attacker. That's not good. 
How many attacks have I done so far? That's my my third one's probably coming up. Is this the third? Yes. One more turn until the tide comes in. Is that now? You have 10 damage to kill him off. What did you just do? The character cannot be targeted by cards. Stealth? Come on! I wanted to kill him before the tide. Or that was the tide, maybe. Because now it's set back, back to five. And that was it. Yeah, I can't even target him. I can't do this. Interesting. I'll just take that damage then, I suppose. Three to five. Boo. Oh, that's a fish egg. It's got a shield. Damage taken from the next player strike card will be ignored. What's my fish hook do? Start of your next turn, fish eggs cannot use shield. If I want to use that consumable. So do I have to kill this fish egg? Goodness. Alright, so it ignores that with the shield, and then we'll hit it next turn, I suppose. Which is fine, because we're just gaining health, really. With our regen card. If I deal damage with this card, we won't lose it. Boom. Smart stuff. Gold, ash, and a key. Ruler is looking for you. Okay, so he changes the, the, the area of play. There used to be a question mark thing there that we already went to and he took it away. Let's head back to camp and see what's up. I believe we got a lot of herbs. Three herbs, but all of my... Everything costs four. Let me craft some things. My liquid fire. Don't have enough to buy any traits just yet. I could dismantle cards. Like we could take our fireballs out if we're tired of them. Make another piercing fire. This one's really good. And a Nazia liquid burn. Boom. Cool, cool, cool. So we're heavy on the burn deck. We can sell recipes too for very cheap. All right, let's continue out. Dungeon me. I've got a key for this chest. The new day's begun. Camp goods have been restocked. Open the chest. Deal damage per pyro bomb. We're not doing that. Draw three cards. Discard a card from your hand. I don't think card draw is a problem. Spark, deal three damage to an opponent. You do not need Ash to craft this card. Sounds like a lame card. There's no skip option though, so I suppose we'll go. We'll do it. Apply shield. Consumable. Extract some more herbs. That's my fourth one. We can now use it. Put up this cave first. You see a clump of tangled roots in front of you. There's something glimmering tantalizingly beneath it. How many travelers could have tripped over these roots in their haste? Try to reach. The forest keeper went mad long ago. There was a time when he only attacked travelers who dared to enter his forest. However, now he is driven only by his own thirst for blood and he knows how to lure rapacious rogues and hunters to his roots. The battle begins. You got one relic. You also got the following recipe. Scroll of purification, non-playable. At the end of your turn, restore one health point for every applied burn. That sounds great for our deck. Applied burn on them, I'm, hope I'm hoping. But we have to somehow discard this card. So we will need probably to craft the card that does damage and discards a card. What's my relic? What did I get as a relic? What does that mean? Ambush. Let's do it. Nothing like an ambush before your ambush. A pre-dungeon dungeon. If you play with fire, you'll get burned. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Every third turn restores two health points. When health points drop below 50%, begins restoring four health points per turn. Crushing loss takes 15 damage after any beast dies. Summon brethren. It's gonna summon a rat, wolf, or boar. Applies defender on them. Oof, oof, uh, oof, oh. Don't use my burn until I actually get the card that applies burn when they don't have burn. These other cards up. I will then put them on the bottom of my deck. Stupid rat. Here, pure fire. Apply three burns if the target doesn't have any. Go. Deals three damage plus three extra per burn. Go. You know what? Defender redirects to themselves all the effects of a strike card directed at other characters. This is a strike card. Okay. So it's taking that. That's just maybe I can't. I don't have enough energy now to huck a fireball, which is really unfortunate. Let's re apply regen here and then just go next turn. You take out that rat first. At least we got the burn off on the uh, the boss. This is periodic damage. It doesn't say strike in the bottom, so we can use that on the back boss. Maybe we should take out the rat first. Maybe, quite possibly. <laughs> this Boop. is just a warm up. Remember, the forest keeper takes damage every single time that they kill one of his brethren.
still has three burn. Let's do another burn. Let's do another burn, Mr. Burns. And then do the three extra damage per burn. Bam. That's good. Plus one more Blazing Torch. Sweet. We're crushing him. I mean, we're missing 50 health. It's like, what, a third? Plus, we're out of cards. <sighs> kind of a problem, but we're going to finish this guy before we have to deal with it. Let's use our Fragile card here so we don't waste anything. Boom. Victory. Money. Ash. Zero keys, though. I really need to spend my points to get back my cards. Let's just pick and choose the ones that we really, really want. And then get some health points back as well. And that's all we can do. We'll have to just use our Ash... Our Ash whatever doohicker to uh, get back our cards. Alright, dungeon. I don't know how hard the dungeon's gonna be. It might be super hard. Ash Storm, this is not a good time, Ash Master. What do you have? Draw a card, place a card on top of your battle deck. Trickster Bracer. So you just flip two cards. Eh, Ash Chalice. I don't know what that is. Is that just free Ash? And Cindering Ring. I do want the Cindering Ring for our recipe that we just got. Let's go for it. Event, get out of here. Your path is suddenly met by er the Herbalist. Increase stats. Increase your crit chance. Increase your dodge chance. Increase your speed. My speed is zero. Increase your strength. Let's increase our speed. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Thanks. Okay, let's get the cindering ring. Got it. Now can we go back to the dungeon? Is it s smarter for me to just turn back? 69 money. Nice. And and go back to my tent and upgrade? Maybe it is! False gods, like 50%. Okay, I've got your four things to upgrade. Allows you to purchase stat increasing items, which we just did. I don't have the money to do that again. It allows you to cure all ailments except for parasites. I don't even know what that is. I don't have those yet. Restores three health points after battle. Let's do that. You can upgrade it to enhances healing effects by 25%. Ashrite for zero money. Renew all my cards. Good thing we came back to camp. Smart. I forgot about card upgrades, too. These are Ash to do that. Can we upgrade our burn cards? We could also upgrade our Ash Packs to get more cards back every time we use it. Or Strain 20, and we get to pick which five. Let's see here. Liquid Fire Plus. If the opponent is inflicted with two or more burns, deal five damage to them, apply burn. That's good, because we don't use our Liquid Fire until we've already applied the three with the other card. Liquid, this is another one. Apply burn on the opponent. This effect is activated twice. Apply burn on an opponent. Discard a card of, of your choice from your hand. That would be... That'd be two birds and one stone. Two burns, one stone there. If we could also get the scroll of purification. We don't have enough ash for all of this, though. Let's come back and upgrade that card when we get the ash. Dad ash, though. Got four... Or as well, let's get an uh, uh, upgrade here. Allows you to buy traits. You, of course, don't have the money to do so, but that would be nice to be able to buy them. Some of these upgrades seem pretty good. Reduce the number of keys required to unlock common chests to zero. Increase the amount of gold found in chests by 50%. Increase the number of recipes you can choose by one. Let's uh, allow ourselves to buy traits. Cool. Dungeon! Ambush! There's always an ambush before the ambush. Down the contagion. These guys are scary looking. When Spore takes damage or restores health, it deals one damage to the player. Ouch. Applies poison, venomous spit from the ooze. Ouch. Use your healing balm. A preemptive healing balm. Let's take out the ooze first, maybe. I don't want to have him stack up poison on me. I don't know why I applied burn the Spore. Every time it takes burn damage now, it's going to do one damage to me. The apply burn card. Breaks the damage per burn. Should have used the other burn. Uh, it's gonna be dead anyways. Don't be upset. All right, I'm in cool. More pain than you. Yeah, watch it take burn damage and do one extra damage to me. Not the smartest thing I've ever done. Let's try to take it out quickly. Strain myself just for the extra damage. You gotta do it. 97 health. Let's go. Enter the dungeon. It seems like time has stopped, maybe, because there's no time bar on the top. Let's keep going. What do we got down here? Is that an Ash Chalice? Nice. Healing Ivy. Two to four herbs. Mine them. Two. A battle. A medium battle. Medium me right now. I think I can't handle your medium. Wow. I gotta say, the enemies are, are pretty intense in this game. Heal yourself, girl. Fireball plus. What did you just do? I need to pay attention to more to their their uh, intent. Five damage. DK summons 
two lower skeletons with five health points each on death. Get that burn off. We're doing it. Six damage. Are you gaining strength per turn here, sir? Burn him. Burn him. Deal damage per burn. 18 damage is so good. Seven health left, and it's going to take 10 damage via burn. Yeah. This is just a warm up. Five health? Lesser bony stupid heads. You're going to die miserably. See? Told you. Be upset. I'm in more pain than you. Two keys for that. Sweet. We missed this altar back up here. Was that a boss? Dungeon Lord. Is there any punishment for me, you know, taking extra time? Minus one health point every time I move. Okay, that's the punishment. Trap! Travel stone cooldown period is increased by five hours. Ouch. Altar. What are you? The next chest in the t next 10 hours will require one less key to open. Hey, start a battle. Looks like there's a Your card. Will finally be reduced to cinders. A recipe or s a so of some sort that uh, we're coming up on here. Level one stitched at the end of its turn deals two damage to all characters. Let's do it up. Same old song and dance. Gonna need to hurt ourselves to renew our cards, probably. Maybe not. Not just yet. Gonna die via burn. <laughs> Chain reaction. Three extra damage per strained card. I don't even think I want that. A Nazial battle and another card. Ready to light my fire. Three face and an ooze. Probably take out the ooze first with the poison. I don't want your poison on me. Probably apply regen first though. Get that out there. 18 health, 18 don't damage. Set. Perfect. I'm in more pain than you. All right, restock my cards. Strain me and burn you. Heal me. I kind of want to like dispel stealth and eight damage. Like if I just keep waiting longer and longer, then I'll heal more and more. Right? Three more turns. If I can make this last three more turns, I probably should. Just maybe just knock him down with the phoenix so we don't burn up any cards. And, uh, like I said, soak up that health. Oh, but he's got burn coming in. Pfft, it's gonna, he's gonna die anyways. I'm dumb. What is this? Strain 30, draw three cards that cost zero. Ooh, I'm not doing strain. 30 health would be kind of detrimental right now. Dungeon Lord, I need to do it now. I'm not sure we'd be able to last much longer. You look pretty. Get those early heals off. What did you just apply to me? I didn't look at that. What was it? Black Plague you just put on me. Draw, you take three damage. Ouch. It's also gonna do Sticky Substance doubles the damage dealt by Black Plague. Gooey Jumper, location effect activates twice. I don't know what that means. Get those burns on him immediately. Burn him stat. What did you just do? That's the Sticky that just got put on me. Eight damage and it applies poison. Oh, good. Damage per burn. And get rid of this. I'm assuming if I play the Black Plague, it, it gets rid of it. Yes, puts it in my deck of ashes, of course. But does that mean if I renew my deck of ashes that it, it then could put it back into my deck? Because that's not good. What's also not good is that we're poisoned and we're losing health fast. Damage. Let's go ahead and strain. Get some cards back. We're at 58 health. Not my favorite. Now we're at 50. Now we're at 44. Healing Balm, go. Burn card, go. Damage for burn. 21 damage, that's good. More damage. This is gonna put more sticky substance on me. I don't believe that we got the plague thing back. At least, at least we could say that. It's a lot of burn that that thing's taken. It should be dead now. Wait a second, it gave me another black plague. I don't want that to be in my hand if I don't clear it now. It's just going to be permanent, isn't it? I'm not sure. All right, we killed it. Yeah, Black Plague. It's it's there. I think we need max health. As much health as we can get. That means we didn't renew any of our cards, which we're going to have to take damage to get them back. Eesh. How do I handle that? Did I get a special boss key? Dungeon chest. Go. The chest is open. We did it. Okay, cool. Choose a recipe. 
Next card will cost zero mana points until the end of battle. That cost three to, though, to play that. Greater Sacrifice, deal three damage to an opponent, discard your entire battle deck. If the opponent dies, renew five random cards. Interesting. That'd be really hard to kill somebody with three damage. Scroll of Combustion, increase the damage of your strike cards by 20% for each unused mana point during your last turn. Scroll of Ignition, if a monster takes damage, if a monster takes critical damage, burn is applied. We'll do that. Smoke screen. S apply stealth. And now we can exit. All right, we're about 60% to the boss. I say we take all this money, we go back to camp and we spend it. Maybe a little detour on the way. Ambush. Oh man, they always look so intense. It's only level one though. Eight to 10 damage coming in from the horn attack on the Satyr, Satyr, and Ifrit. And there's my Black Plague. Not good. This guy's gonna add uh, a hex to me into my hand. I think I don't even know how to get rid of him. I think I gotta go to the herbalist to like pay her to get rid of those cards. That's rough, man. Let's get rid of this sadder. If I get the thing that allows me to discard cards though, wait a second. If I put that back in my deck, I'll redraw it and then retake the damage. So let's not do that. Um, enhanced ash pack, strain 30, renew all cards. That's what he just put in my hand. Interesting. I don't like that. <laughs> this is just a warm up. Burned him. Now here's a second Black Plague. It's it's ruining my my card draw here because I don't want to get rid of the Black Plague and put him underneath. Yikes. Ouch, 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 man. He's gonna burn to death. He just gave me a, another uh, enhanced Ash Pack. Okay. They went away. Okay, they burned up. Let's heal up as much as possible, then we'll go back to, um, the ruler's looking for you. Oh, he's breaking the map. If we can get back, I can have him um, get all my cards out. This the super dude. I've got eight keys, by the way. Maybe we should take a detour and open up this double chest. Probably. I will burn down the contagion. I will burn down the contagion. You heard her. Ah, yes, extra poison. Just what the doctor ordered. Thank you. Get rid of my black plagues. Get out of here. This dude's done. Yeah, toast. The burn, I'm liking the burn. Allows me to kill them without actually having to uh, burn up my cards. Ash Storm, Ash Chalice, go. Got it. It was only 10 Ash. Oh well, it was free. Let's get this double key. Boss is pissed. 20 monies. Remedial Potion, restores eight health points. Destroy one random ailment. That'd be good, get rid of poison. Could get rid of the sticky substance. Enhanced Ash Pact, no, I already have two of those. No, wait, they went away. Black Grimoire Page. If you have five Black Grimoire Pages in your deck of ashes, destroy them and add a Black Grimoire to your hand. Is that a good thing? Problem with keeping the, them in my uh, deck of ashes is I randomly renew cards from my deck of ashes, and, th and that's just gonna eat up my card draw there. I bet you the Black Grimoire is like really good though. We'll take the potion. And Lightning Potion, increase your crit chance by 5%. Let's go for this double key chest down here. Event. Overcome so many battles that monsters in these lands don't seem terrifying anymore and your body has forgotten the bittersweet feeling of fatigue. Can't wait to fight another battle, it said. Victory comes easily when you know all the enemy weaknesses. The level of all infester monsters is reduced by two for the next eight hours. Cool. New day has begun. We're probably about 80% for the boss. Open up this. Pyro bomb play, discard play. Let's do the potion and a disinfecting potion. I can't. Heal a random ailment. I can't, I don't have enough space for it. I'm gonna remove the red hook since I think that was silly. There we go. Fight this ghost. Let's do it. What do you got? Imp and hanged man. Damage coming in. The hanged man sounds scarier. Let's take him out. Don't be upset. Got him. Do we be crafting some of these cards? Probably. We said that we were gonna craft the Cindering Ring and then also the Scroll of Purification, but it looks like I can't craft two things in one go. We'll have to wait till we get back to the base. Oh, geez. Ash Storm. Regeneration Healing Bomb. I liked that one. Let's go get it. On your path, you suddenly meet the Ash Master. He offers to perform Ash, ash Rites. Yes, renew all my cards. Well, no, we only have two cards and it's Pyro Explosion, which is a Strain card, and Black Plague. Yeah, I'll pass. Thanks, though. All right, we got a regen card. All right, the boss is almost here. Go back to camp. All right, let's get the scroll of purification. Restore one health for every applied burn. 
go. Can we upgrade that scroll of purification? No, we could go ahead and upgrade our, our burn like we said we were going to, to discard things. But now we are, we got the other card. I, I totally forgot and I made the other card. Cindering ring that allows me to discard. So we'll just work with that one then. Still upgrade our burn to apply burn and do damage or apply burn twice. We got all these fireball pluses. 10 damage and apply a burn with this fireball. Fireball Phoenix. So it gets put back, it, it, it never gets used up. A lot of good options here. Blazing Torch Lifesteal. Regeneration plus. Renew one random card except for ash cards. Draw three cards. Restore five and apply regen. We can buy traits as well. Opponents deal 5% less damage for every burn. Go. I could have him burn cards for money. So he could just start with the scroll of purification burned. Interesting. Cure ailments. I need to upgrade her in order to be able to cure ailments to get rid of these cards. I should have done that. Shoot. Increase the amount of rest points in the tent. I need that. Tome of Wrath. Deal six damage or apply burn and poison on the selected opponent. I'll take it. Let's upgrade our Ash Pact for eight random cards. Burn twice. Burn twice. Heavy on the burn. Regen plus renew one random card. I think that's all we can do. I'm ready. Boss me. Do a random event until then. Brushing yourself off, you notice a small ash pouch. Nice fine. 20 ash. Okay. Let's do something with that ash. Second healing balm. Done. Upgraded to renew a card. Done. So that's all my ash spent. Bro. Achievement unlocked for that. Alright, another random event. Sometimes the camp dwellers procure the necessary materials themselves. Merchant knows where to go and blah blah blah. The camp will miss him. He's gone. Okay. Not a big deal. Unoccupied cemetery, we can dig for stuff. Is the boss here yet? Go to town and dig for stuff. Oh yeah, I should have gone to the, uh... Ah! The boss is here! The ruler has found his quick prepare for the decis decisive battle. It, I like how it automatically brings you back to camp. That's, okay, so you can like go explore a little bit harder. I don't have any more ash. Burning compound. Apply burn to an uh, opponent. I want it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Two wrongs don't make a right. I will revenge to everyone. King Octavius, the false god. Just a Mad Max looking guy. Crit chance is 5%. Every fourth strike card played activates twice. The holy fat. Thick skin, base health points are increased by 100. Summons a possessed or guard. Okay, okay, what can we do right now? We can stun him, we can heal an ailment, apply shield, stealth, and apply burn. Of course, we're starting with our scroll of purification. Um, I can't get rid of it because we don't have our discard card. So we'll just keep it in our hand until we get that. Pure fire, good start. Burn him again. Do damage for the each burn. Nice, nice jorb, hamstray. All right, he summoned this rogue who is going to increase his speed. What else are you gonna do? Silent prayer, increase strength of all summoned allies by 10. Increase strength, that's, that's intense. I think it's strength, that means damage. Increases its speed by five. We need to put the damage on this rogue quick here. I do want to continue burning the, the false god so it continues to take damage over time and building up those burns. We have cards that really do high damage on that. Let's go ahead and fireball you. One more fireball, you'll be dead, hopefully. Wait, do you have a shield? I must have had a shield. Restore eight health points, destroy one random ailment. Is it, is it gonna destroy, like, one of my Black Plague ailments? Is that what you're gonna do? Is that what you do for me? Because I'm gonna do that. It did work. It grabbed it and destroyed it. Nice. Good job. All right, next turn. You may return three cards to the bottom of my deck. Applies poison. Okay, it just applied poison to me. Dude, did it just do it? I think they might have stunned me there because it seemed like they got two turns each. Not the best. This rogue hasn't done anything to try to attack me. It's also stealthing right now. Tome of Wrath. Oh, that's the apply burn and poison to my selected unit. Cindering Ring. I'm gonna do that. I can't, okay, the rogue is stealthing, right? This is fine. Cinder Ring. Choose this scroll of purification so that I restore one health for every applied burn, which is gonna be seven. Seven cards per turn. Perfect, that's an amazing combination. Choose one card. Didn't I just choose the card? I don't understand why it says choose one card, like I didn't choose a card already. 
Did I choose a card already? Was it discard two cards? I scroll purifications in my, my deck of ashes, so that's good. I don't think we messed up there. Apply regen on myself. Give me back my strain card. Apply more burn to the boss. And poison. Great. Apply two bleed coming in from the boss. That's a lot of extra damage. All the burn and, and, and blight. Or poison, rather. Piercing fire, 27 damage. That's so good. The rogue, though. 12 damage. This effect is activated three times. We should have killed it. I told you we should have killed it. Oh, no. This rogue's gonna hurt me. Can't do anything about it, either. That's 30 damage. 36 damage right there. Plus, what, eight from the bleed? Oh, my God. Why am I doing four damage, four damage, four damage, four damage from bleed? Gonna uh, increase the strength of its summoned guy by 10 again. I, I can't handle another rogue. Plus 30 damage, so we kill it. Done. Regen Balm, probably. Gives me my... Pure Fire card back. Probably should Ash Pact. And get some cards back as well. We're low. I saw my curse, Black Plague, we got that back. Oh, great. Set it to have it. This guy's at 55 health. He's, he's hurting bad. He's hurting bad. We're doing a good job. All that extra burn damage. Mm-mm. Protect the king. The false god temporarily leaves the battlefield and summons three possessed or three guards. The false god returns to the battlefield only after his summoned allies have died. If we can kill him before that happens, that would be the best thing, probably. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill him. Shoot, man. That's gonna be a tough fight. If I do this, I can discard my Black Plague. 20 damage, it's only gonna take 10 from the burn. He's gonna have 10 health left when he leaves. Can I do anything here? Stun him. Stun him. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Forgot about my consumables for a second there. You're done. You're super done. You wanna see how much, how, how done you are? Yeah! Victory! You are doing good. I feel your power growing. But don't get overconfident. It is a long way to the Valley of Death. Don't patronize me, priest. We have an agreement. You guide me to Lady Death, I turn the hag to cinders and break the curse. Save the caring for your voodoo dolls. Why me? Wouldn't the other outcasts be a better fit for your mission? What do the flames say? Where are they? I see each of you went their own path, but only yours led to pain and suffering. This is why I choose you. Don't lie to me, priest. We were all there when the ash box broke. It can't be that I'm the only one facing consequences. Life is not fair. Who knows better than you? Be that as it may, I'm keeping my end of the bargain, and you will keep yours. If you trick me, then even the gods won't help you. When do we move out? Departing at dawn. Now entering chapter two. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have to play this game for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at Deck of Ashes. Don't forget it's available right now. There's a link down below to the Steam page. Also, don't forget to join the Discord and enter the mini boss competition. Your feedback is greatly appreciated on this, so leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. Thank you once again, AY Games, for sponsoring this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.